Welcome back and thanks for joining us for part two for the video. What we're doing is we're continuing with this example where we are proving that a set of triangles are similar. So with example B, if you take a look at the two triangles, with both triangles you've been given two sides and an angle in between. So that should tell you that we're going to be using the side angle side similarity sufficiency condition. So first thing right off the bat we can tell that angle B is equal to angle H and because they've given us that they're both that symbol A the reason for them being equal is given. Now let's examine the sides. If you look at the shortest side of this triangle, BN, it's going to correspond with the shortest side of this triangle. You just need to make sure that you get the order of the letters correct. So if we said BN, we're starting at the vertex that had the A, and we're going to the other vertex. So that means BN will correspond to HD because it's going to start where the A is. And that is going to be equal to 3 over 6, which is 1 half in lowest terms. And now look at the third side or the other side B K that is going to correspond with H R again if you start with the vertex that has the A you have to start with the vertex that has the A in this triangle so H R and that is equal to 4 over 8 which is also one half. So again with similar triangles you're not trying to prove that sides are equal you're trying to prove that the ratios of the sides are equal. So if this side is half as big as this side then this side has to be half as big as this side. This value here is your k value which is your scale factor. So the scale factor tells you what the ratio of the sides are. So in this case the scale factor is saying that this triangle is half as big as this triangle. So what we have done is we have proved that triangle B N K is similar to triangle. Now make sure you get the letters right. We're starting where the A is, we're going down the smallest side, and then we're going to the third vertex. So we're going to start at H, we're going to go down the smallest side to get to D, and then we're going to go to the third one which is R. H D R and the reason is side angle side similarity. So this is your proof here. This is the similarity statement and this is the sufficiency condition. Make sure when you're answering these questions that you show the full proof showing that the ratios are the same and what your k-value is and you're providing everything here. So the next example we haven't been given any side lengths so that should be telling you that we're going to be using the angle angle similarity. So again when you have parallel lines you want to look for F patterns or Z patterns in this case we're going to be using Z patterns. So here is one Z pattern. Right there. So that's going to tell you that angle D 
is equal to angle X. And that's because of the Z pattern. And you can find another Z pattern right here. And that tells you that angle P is equal to angle A. Again, because of the Z pattern. So all you have to do is show that two angles are equal, because if two angles are equal, they all have to add up to 180, so obviously the third one is equal. So that means triangle P, D, F is similar to triangle, now let's get the letters right. We're going from the red angle to the green angle and then to the third angle. So that's going to be A, X, F. And the reason is angle, angle similarity. Now, as I said, you only have to prove that two angles are equal. So you could have done the two Z patterns, but you also could have said that this angle is equal to this angle because of opposite angles. But if you did that, you would have to use the three letters. So if you wanted to show this angle was equal, you'd have to say that angle PFD is equal to angle, watch the order, red, then where the F is, then green. So this would be AFX. And that is because of opposite angles. Right? So this could have been one of the angles that you showed were equal but sometimes it's easier just to use the two Z patterns. So again, proof, similarity statement, sufficiency condition. All right, the last example that I'm going to do with you before you try one on your own. This is when you have one of these nested triangle examples. So you have one triangle here, D, C, a, and then you have triangle E, B, A. So if you want to, you can draw out the two triangles separately, or you don't have to, you can just work with them nested like this. So, the first thing that you can say is that angle C is equal to this angle, and that would be because of the F pattern. And there's an F right there. So, angle C is equal to angle. Now, for angle B, you need to use three letters because B could be here or B could be here. So we have to use three letters, E, B, A. And that's because of the F pattern. If you want to stay consistent, you could have used three letters for C, but then to get the order right, you'd have to use D, C, A. But since C only has one possible angle, you could just use one letter. So, another angle that's equal is D and this angle here. And that's again because of the F pattern. There's another F right there. So, angle D is equal to angle, you need three letters for this E, B, E, A. and that's because of the F pattern.
So that means that triangle DCA is similar to triangle purple, blue, other. So purple, blue, other. E, B, A, and that's because of angle, angle similarity. Now, if you were drawing them out separately here, this is D, C, A, and this is E, B, A, and because both of these are A, one of the two angles that you showed were equal is you could have said angle A equals angle A because they're shared. So it doesn't really matter, you just have to pick two of them that are equal. So the two F patterns are easy, but this shared angle is easy as well. So what you're going to do is try the rest of the examples on your own, and then you're going to come back to the video to check your answers. So with all of them, show the proof, state the similarity statement, and the sufficiency condition. So please press pause, try the rest of the questions, and then come back to the video to check your answers. So press pause now. Okay, welcome back to the video. For example E, you can see that you've been given all three sides in both triangles, so that should be telling you that it's the side, side, side similarity, which means you have to get the ratio of all three sides and show that the ratios are equal. Please make sure that you've got the letters going the right way. So starting with the smallest, FB goes with the smallest over here, ED. So check your answer to question E. For question F, we haven't been given any sides, but we've given two angles. And since they've put symbols, the reason we know that angle A is equal to angle X and angle C is equal to angle Z is because they've been given. So the triangles are similar because of AA. Now your order of these letters might be different than my order of these letters, like you might have done A, B, C, but then make sure that this would be X, Y, Z. So as long as the corresponding letters are in the right spot, that's okay. Example G, we've been given two sides, which should tell you that we've got a side angle side similarity, and You've got these opposite angles here. Again, you have to use the three letters. So P, R, Q is equal to S, R, T. Remember, anytime you have one of these examples where the triangles are connected with the opposite angles, it's always the opposites that correspond. So P will correspond to S and Q will correspond to T. And that will help you get your letters in the right order. So then that means that 30 goes with 20 and 16 goes with 24 because it's opposites. Now example H was a little bit trickier, but the two triangles you were supposed to look at were E, D, G and D, F, G. So to see which one matches up with which, you would see that this triangle was flipped and rotated so that D, F, G goes with E, D, G. And the way you tell that is the shortest side of this triangle was E, D, so the shortest side of this triangle is D, F. And again, the longest was E, G. So the longest with this one is going to be D, G. So the G's both have a shared angle, so those are equal. And then when you take the ratios of the sides, you get 1.25. So some triangles are kind of hidden and you have to rotate. So that ends our video. Thank you very much.